Hi, so today I want to show you three options how you can deal with a data frame in Google Colabs uh, which you now want to process somewhere else. So the first option is um, a download from there. Uh, the second option is um, an export to Google Sheets. The third one is, or the second and a half one is uh, an update to Google Sheet and the last one is an export to BigQuery. And um, the thing is Google Colabs is more or less a Jupyter Notebook running in the cloud. So if we start now, um, the first thing you can do on a local machine if you're running a Jupyter Notebook or Pandas in general, you can export to CSV on your local machine and it will push um, the data frame as a CSV into a folder of your choice but you cannot do that if you're in the cloud so the first option is to trigger this download and it's more or less the same as you can see here it's it's the same so it will generate a CSV as here but you need to before you, you need to trigger this as a file download which you can do with importing Google Colab as a library uh, so let's try. Uh, this was fast and you cannot see it, but um, the file is here. I already did this eight times. And um, as, as a proof here, uh, you can see that this was downloaded just a minute ago. No, you cannot see, it's not the time. But yeah, so this was the download. So it's not much different. It's super easy. It's well documented how you do that. The second one is an interaction with Google Sheets. And there are also options to interact with Google Drive in general. But, uh, in general, but um, let's interact with uh, Google Sheets. And I chose to use Gspread as a library. And if you, if you are in, in Google Colab, you need to install some packages. And this package is one of the packages you need. Um, and the other thing you need is you need uh, to, uh, to do authentication with, with Google Sheets, of course, because not everyone is allowed to write to your drive. So that one you also need. Then, um, and then more or less the first thing is to authorize and uh, let's try this. So this one is running and yeah, so if you run this, um, if you use this method, then you have to open this uh, sign in uh, feature here and you need to allow the Google Cloud SDK to interact with Google Drive more or less, which I now will do. And then I get this this um, this key here, which I can pass within the Jupyter Notebook and uh, then verify that I'm allowed. So now I should be allowed. And what I can do now is I can um, create uh, uh, a sheet so um, it, it, the, the logic is like you, f you create a, a document first a Google sheet and then every sheet has a worksheet so I have this one so this one is the sheet and this one there can be multiple worksheets in here these are the worksheets um, let's delete these um, so that's the logic in here and if you check this then here I'm creating the sheet and then I open the uh, I open a worksheet and give it the name and this basically pushes um, the data frame to the worksheet so let's try da -da -da. So now I should have a worksheet 
within my Google Drive called um, how is it called? That's the brand name I defined here. It's Welt, XM, Welt News XML and blah blah blah. So let's see if there's something. There it is. You see the the same um, data frame as here was now exported to this. So this one should be commentare. Yeah, you see that's the same 17, 17. Okay. So the second thing I want to show you is an update because if you do that, uh, then it will generate uh, maybe a lot of uh, lot of sheets and yeah, you want to update probably. So with Google Sheets, I will show you also the update version. So I have a, a sheet here uh, with in this first cell, uh, please update me. So let's run this. Um, this one is doing more or less the opposite. So it's opening um, with the same library with this, uh, how was it called, gspread library. Um, it's opening uh, a, a spreadsheet with the same uh, authorized method, by the way, and then it getting it's giving me the uh, worksheet zero, which is this one. It can also get it somehow by name, I think, and it's getting uh, cell A1 and printing it. So this the information you can see here. And now what we'll we will do is um, we will. Um, overwrite this one with the same method and you can see here the the update sheet is also now having the data of the data sheet of, of the data frame okay so that's it for um, Google Sheets and now let's switch to the third version going with uh, BigQuery and here I need to prepare something I think because I haven't created the whole structure yet so let's see um, that's BigQuery and um, the first thing I need to I, I created uh, a data set and a data table but I haven't created a schema not here so let's try without a schema um, yeah that's correct so you need to go with um, here you can here you you need to you need to define the, the data set and a data table with uh, this method. It's a method to push it to uh, BigQuery and um, let's run it. It should fail. Yeah, you see um, the, the table has no uh, structure yet so what the what it needs basically is this this structure um, and let's do this um, I'm not sure if uh, that's a string uh, let's go here uh, that's an int um, That's a float. That's a string again. What else do we have? Another int. Da -da -da. I could have prepared that. Um, no, a string. Uh, another string, I think, 
another string goes like this and a string so um, now there's this there's the schema and let's try if we can push it now mm -hmm. There we are, push to um, BigQuery. So that's it.